Hello and welcome to Now You Know channel, where we provide you with useful knowledge and practical skills for free. In this video, we will show you how to make a pivot chart, how to add slicers for filtering the data, and how to insert pivot charts. All these in a very easy and professional way. For this case study, we will use the data of an imaginary company called My Super Company. The data refer to monthly sales volumes in operating countries, but it can apply to any typical data for your specific needs. I will go a little fast in the creation of a pivot chart. If you want to watch step by step this part, you can watch our video about how to create and modify a pivot chart. Let's start by clicking anywhere inside the data. Then we click Insert, Pivot Table, Pivot Table. The dial box appeared in the right of our screen. Here we can see the data range of our table and here we can choose where we want the pivot table report to be placed. I will choose for this case new worksheet. Just press OK. Let's organize our work a little better. Let's rename this sheet to pivot and C2, where our original data exists, we will rename it data. Let's go back to the pivot sheet. On the right, there is the field list. Here we have all the variables of our data. We have order, country, month, product type and quantity. Let's create our pivot table, first by dragging country in the row labels. Let's drag quantity in the values field. I don't like this numbering. Click inside. I don't like the decimals. Right click, number format, number, erase the decimals. Easy. Much more better now. Let's put the month in the row labels as well. Much more better analysis. And let's put the product type in the report filter. You can do whatever you want. You could put the product type in the row labels and filter it by the months. It doesn't matter. Now that we made our pivot table, let's add some slicers. Slicers, as you will see, are a very impressive but easy way to filter the data and present whatever you need each time in a very efficient way. First, we go to options. It's already pressed. Here, it's a button called Insert Slicer. We press it, and then we press it again. Automatically, this box appears with all the variables of our data. You can choose whichever you need to make a slicer. I will choose to make a slicer for the country and for the month. Just click them and press OK. Our slicers for the country and for the month appeared. Let's drag them and make them look more visible. You can make it bigger. Nice. Slicers look and feel like programming buttons. Actually, this is what they are. Let's see the practical usage. Let's say that you want to see only the results of France in the month February. Just press the buttons. France, February. Excellent. In a very easy way, we isolated and presented only the specific data that we wanted to see. When you want to go back and create another report, you just click in the upper right corner of the slicer here and here. We are back in the beginning again. Let's do another reporting. Let's see Germany and USA. You click Germany and then by holding the control button down you click USA as well. Perfect. Let's check our data only for January and March. Press January, hold control down, press March. Easy. Just by pressing the buttons here, you get the results that you want in the pivot table. Let's go back by clicking here. Just 
just like any other index in Excel, we can change the layout of slicers and pivot tables. Let's try some. Let's take this slicer and apply this layout. And let's take this and apply another layout. Let's take the pivot table. Design. Options. Too many styles. I like this. Just click. And it's ready. You can get your life more organized and more beautiful with many colors. Now, let's go further. And let's add to our pivot table a pivot chart. We just have to go to Options. And press Pivot Chart. As you see, there is a very big variety of charts that you can use. I will just use for our case this column chart. Just click it and just press OK. It's ready. Let's make it bigger and bring it next to our table for further formatting. The countries and the months that we have in the row labels placed in our pivot table, they are represented in the x-axis in the chart, while the quantity is being represented in the y-axis in the chart. As I have said many times, pivot tables and charts are very dynamic. We can do any filtering we like in the pivot chart as well. Let's filter our chart by country and by month. You just have to click here where it says country, deselect all, and let's decide that we want to see England, Germany, and USA. Just press OK. Boom, it's ready. Let's filter it further by month. Click in the button that says month, deselect all, and let's choose February and March. Press OK again. The chart is very dynamic. Now, because I'm sure that you loved slicers as much as I did, let's make slicers on this chart. Click inside the chart, click the button Analyze, click the button each third slicer and then again here let's make slicers about country and month just click them you can click anything you like I just have chosen this for our example click them press OK and our slicers are ready place them wherever you like and you can format them as I showed you before the slicers present the filtering that we have already done in our table. That's why you see some buttons pressed. Let's unfilter everything just by clicking here in the upper right of the slicer box. Now all the data appear in our pivot table, in our pivot chart and in the slicers. Anytime you want you can start a new query. Let's say that you want Canada control button pressed and choose Germany for the months of January and March boom your new specialized report is ready by using pivot tables pivot charts and slicers you can set up any reporting system that you desire we hope you found this tutorial interesting and helpful if so don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more and tell it to your friends. Thank you for watching.